20 years ago when I asked my wife what she wanted for her birthday, she really surprised me by saying, I want you to play a concert and I'm going to pick the music and I'm going to pick the musicians. So she chose the Beethoven Archduke Trio and the Brahms B Major Trio and she wanted me to play it with Carrie Bailey and David Vanderkoy. So we did that. Ten years later, it was time for another concert, and each concert has gotten a little bit bigger. <laughs> Ten years ago, I played the Brahms uh, Quintet for piano and string quartet with the Vega Quartet from uh, Atlanta, from Emory University. And then, now it is 10 years later, and she has picked the program and picked many of the people who are playing with us. Um, I want to especially thank my colleague Elizabeth Pridenoff for agreeing to do this with me. Elizabeth and I have been friends since high school and then she went to Juilliard and she's taught at the Cincinnati Conservatory for many years and we have been so fortunate to have her as the guest artist in residence here at Lipscomb for the last five years. She comes for three weeks each year, once in the fall and two times in the spring, teaches all the piano majors, uh, and just really, really makes us have a wonderful time while she's here. There are some additional events to celebrate today. Um, in October, uh, in December, our daughter married a really wonderful man, David King, and his parents' 40th wedding anniversary is today. So they have come from St. Louis along with their daughter, Kara, and their son, Sam, and his partner, Ian, and David and Olivia are here also. So we're really enjoying making this a joint celebration with them. I also want to mention two others. Our dear friend, Jennifer Hicks. Um, it, it, today is also her birthday. And one of our freshman piano majors, Caleb Taylor, today is his birthday. His great claim to fame, for those of you that have been at Lipscomb for very long, is his great aunt is Professor Emeritus Dr. Linda Robertson in the biology department. Um, I also want to thank Rose and Patricia Hart who have really made this concert possible uh, through their endowing the chair in piano, which I'm so fortunate to hold. <laughs> So we are beginning this program with a piece by Brahms because every concert that has honored Kim's birthday has had a piece by Brahms on it. These are the variations on the theme of Haydn, but actually this piece, the, the theme was not written by Haydn. Brahms thought it was, lots of other people thought it was at the time. It was from a wind ensemble piece that was attributed to Haydn but we later found out Haydn didn't write it, so sometimes this is called the variations on St. Anthony's Chorale. So there will be the chorale at the beginning, there are eight variations, and then there is a finale that is in the form of a fugue. I hope you enjoy this.
I just want to say a couple of words about this orchestra. It's a very special orchestra to me because these is a combination of Lipscomb students and professionals, which include Lipscomb adjunct faculty members and uh, faculty members from the Tennessee Governor's School for the Arts, where I teach in the summer. And many of these people I have known for many, many, many years, and we have played lots and lots of concerts together. And it is so great to have them all here together at once. Uh, Carrie Bailey, who's the concert master, she played on the very first concert 20 years ago. So this is a real treat uh, for me to get to play with all of these people on the stage. The next piece, the Bach Concerto in C minor for uh, two pianos, is actually a transcription of, that Bach made himself of his own concerto for two violins. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.
Jerry asked me to speak on the, the Mozart, so I shall. Happy birthday, Kim. <laughs> the, this Mozart concerto was probably one of Mozart's favorite pieces that he wrote, and he felt it was one of his greatest works. As you all probably know, Mozart was very much an operatic composer, so everything is very vocal in this music. And in the two pianos concerto that he wrote, he had supposedly written it for to play with his sister, Nanarelle. And it was he used to play quite a bit with her, as well as students that he, he had. It's never been known whether he actually did it or not, but that was kind of the intent, I think, for biographers. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing work and has these dazzling cadenzas that hopefully we will be able to get off. Because the reason I say that is it's so hard because one of us starts and the other one finishes and it doesn't stop. It has to sound like one. So, just so you know, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you all enjoy it. It's a beautiful, beautiful work.
you all very much. We do have a little encore for you. This is a tune that I think you will all recognize, arranged by my dear late colleague, Dr. Gerald Moore, in the style of John Philip Sousa. <laughs> 